Hey there, how's it going? I'm Sean, and this is my guide on Elites in New World. Elites in New World are a special type of enemy, dropping class-specific items at a certain drop rate for each Elite. When an Elite drops an item, the bag will glow the color of the item dropped. For example, the rare drops will glow blue. There are exceptions to drop rarities, however, like an Amarine Excavation, where you can receive an item from an enemy that is not named and still get the dungeon-specific item. For example, if you were to kill a scavenger not spawned from a nest, the chances are low but you can still receive a blue drop like Crusher's Gaze. When an elite like Simon Gray is killed, he will have a chance to drop one of his class-specific items, like Simon's Hacksilver Ring or Excavator Safety Helmet, both of which are great early game equipment for tanks. Specific elites besides Simon and Gray do drop different items, however. For example, Captain Hamadou, southwest of Monarch's Bluffs, drops these four items. Captain's Command, Chain Darkness, Madman Spellstaff, and Memory of Montour. All of these drops can be equipped at level 26, making for great early game equipment at 350 gear score, and even an epic which is great for Ice Gauntlet users. In order to find epics on the map, follow these steps. Go to newworldmap.com, navigate to the search filter section, and click on hide all. Go to the search bar and type in named for the elite monsters to show, and region for the separation of regions for easier elite finding. After seeing all of the elites on the map, click on an elite that matches your level. For example, if I were a level 26, I would click on level 25 elites as they will most likely drop an item that is my level. After clicking on an elite, select go to database. Next, click on the elite that is named. Lastly, navigate down to the drops. Now that you know how to search for drops, hover over an item you want and check out its stats. As a tank, I would look for a good constitution sword, like Captain's Command. Running luck gear is essential with elites, as it increases your potential drop rate as well as side drops that can support you through gameplay. If you decide to run with friends, don't worry, all of you will be eligible for drops as long as you are participating in the area. Now here comes the issue. Elites have a problem, a problem that can cost you precious time. Elites are on a fixed respawn timer meaning that you can only kill a certain amount per hour. Early level elites, like Swoggle Smear, are on a fixed 1 to 1.5 one minute respawn, which isn't too bad at all. But as you level, you will find elites taking longer and longer to respawn, like Taskmaster Holm, which drops a great tank shield, but instead he respawns every 6.5 minutes, which will hurt a lot of players who do not have the luck to support that long of a respawn, or get unlucky with their drops. The basics of finding elite drops has been covered, so let's do a test run with what we would be able to eventually put together as a class build for tanking. First off, I would start looking for Captain's Command as mentioned earlier, as it provides a sustainable 8 constitution and 350 gear score with only a level 26 requirement. Next, I would go farm Swoggle Smear, since he drops Dreadweaver, a powerful great axe for tanking that provides 15 constitution and fortifying whirlwind. Finally, I would go farm the Amarine Excavation until I get Simon's Hacksilver Ring and the Amarine Excavation Helmet. And to finish off, I would fill the rest of my gear with heavy equipment and Of the Soldier or Of the Century perks. In total, Elite Drops are very powerful for side gear farming and can provide you great sustainability for the build you are looking for. As you level, you will be able to get more and more power with drops like Ray's Lucky Piece, an extremely powerful earring with a level 41 requirement that can be a staple for fire mages who are looking to save on potions and go a pure build. It's also an early game legendary. One of the first you can get, man! 450 gear score, that's so good! Alrighty, thank you all for watching. If you would like more information, please visit our wiki page for additional information relating to in-game drops, weapon mastery traits, and more. Discord will also be in the description, and if you like the video, please subscribe for more content in the future. Thanks, and have a wonderful day. See ya!